In this tutorial we are going to talk about creating quizzes in SimLab VR Studio. The model that we will be using can be found in the SimLab Academy. Go to the Academy in the bottom panel, then select Evaluation then Quizzes. The first item runs this tutorial video, so skip it and drag and drop the second item onto the 3D area to load the environment. This is a functioning experience of operating a two posts lift, and as you can see it has animation sequences in it. If you were to open the training builder, you will also find several nodes that are responsible for running the experience. Before we begin the quiz creation, let's run the scene in VR and get to know it better. From the VR viewer menu, select show in viewer. Select PC VR if you have a VR headset attached to the computer, otherwise, select desktop mode or standalone VR. On the lift's post, the user will find the specification sheet for the lift, which we can later quiz the user about. A series of instructions will follow, guiding the user on how to lift up the car. To begin the quiz creation, go back to SimLab VR Studio and from the evaluation menu, select Create Quiz. A new quiz panel will be added to the scene. Position and rotate the panel to be near the lift's control panel. With the quiz selected, go to the Quizzes slash Surveys tab in the Properties panel to the right. Here, you can rename the quiz and set its type to either a quiz or a survey. The main difference between the two is that in quizzes you will get a mark depending on your selection, while in surveys you want, but rather your selection would be reported. We will learn more about surveys in a separate tutorial. In the same tab, you can also choose to add an image at the corner of the quiz which can be useful in branding the quiz's interface, and you can also set a time limit for the quiz. Under Style, you can adjust the appearance of the quiz, so feel free to choose any colors you want. Click Preview to see the changes you have applied to the quiz's appearance. Once you're satisfied with the quiz's location and appearance, click Edit to start adding questions. Under Questions, click the plus icon to add a question. Once the question has been added, click the Edit button. Type the question in the top field. For the first question, I will ask the user about the maximum height for a vehicle that is allowed on this lift, which is written on the aforementioned specification sheet. Now click on the plus sign under the question to add answers. You can add as many answers as you see fit. For this example I'm going to stick to the standard 4 answers option. Now double-click the first answer and type in 1.8 meters, then the next answer and type in 2.1 meters, 2.5 for the third answer, and for the last answer type 3 meters. Click the checkbox beside an answer to set it as the correct answer. Add another question similar to before, and for the question itself, type, what is the maximum weight allowed on the lift? Add four answers to be consistent with the first question and replace them with the values 3,000 kilograms, 3,500 kilograms, 4,000 kilograms, and 4,300 kilograms. Now check the box next to the 3,000 kilograms answer to set it as the right answer. 
Add another question and type, what is the name of the highlighted components? For this question we're going to refer to objects in the VR experience, which is the adapters. Let's type the answers for now. Add four answers, and for the first answer type, connections. Then adapters. Then arms, and finally necks. Now we need to highlight the objects we are inquiring about during this question, so let's first select the adapters from the 3D area. Once you have selected them all, click on the Add icon in the Interactive Elements panel to the left. Once they've been added to the Interactive Elements list, they can be used in any questions we add them to. So now with the last question being active, click on the arrow next to each of the elements to add them to the active question. Now toggle the Highlight icon to highlight those four objects during the question in VR. As you can see, what we have been creating so far are text-based questions, but we have the option to create interactive questions, so let's add another question and see how we can make it an interactive one. Edit the newly added question and in the first field type, select the power side post. Switch the question type from a text-based question to an interactive question. The power side post is the post to the right, which has the control panel and the motor. In this scene it's named post underscore 2. Let's now select post underscore 1 and post underscore 2 and add them to the interactive elements list, then with the last question being active, click the arrows to add the posts to the question. Click the checkbox next to the post underscore 2 object to set it as the right answer. Add another question and set its type to interactive. In the question field type, in case of an emergency, which button should you press? Let's go to the control panel on the power post and select a few buttons, among which is the emergency button. Same as before, add these objects to the interactive elements list and with the last question active, click the arrows to add them to the question. Now click the checkbox next to the emergency button object. The last thing we need to do is to determine when the quiz is going to start during the VR experience. We can either start it automatically using a scene start event, or we can tie it to a button which when the user presses the quiz starts. Select the Start Quiz button located under the control panel, then open the Training Builder. Add a node triggered event, then attach the Start Quiz button to it. Now add an Activate Quiz response, then attach the created quiz to it, since you can have multiple quizzes in the same VR experience and we need to specify which one to activate upon pressing the button. Start the VR experience to test out the quiz you have created. Once the interactive experience itself is complete, the user can click the Start Quiz button and the quiz will appear. Click Start to begin taking the quiz. It's a straightforward multiple selection quiz, where the participant will highlight an answer, then presses Next to move to the next question.
In an interactive question, the current selection will glow in green hue. Once the participant is done with the quiz, he will press the submit button to send his answers to the teacher. Since this quiz has been run from SimLab VR Studio, it will not submit the results since it's a test run. If this were an uploaded lesson, the results will be submitted and can be viewed by the teacher. In the next tutorials you will learn how to upload this quiz as a lesson that can be taken by students or participants and how to view the submitted results for each of the students.